Boundaries can be difficult to set and enforce. So today I'm gonna to give you some tips on how to do just that. Earlier this week, I released a video of what boundaries are and what they look like. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Hit the bell for alerts so you know when my next video comes out. Some places you wanna ensure you have boundaries are for your work life, for your friendships. You can also think of it in terms of behaviors that you will or will not tolerate, no matter who it is that you're dealing with. For example, a work boundary may be ensuring that you're not taken advantage of in working extra unpaid hours or that you're paid at a fair rate. Your boundaries shouldn't be about what other people do or cannot do. Everyone is free to live their lives the way they want to. Your boundaries concern what you will participate in or tolerate. So for example, if someone was speaking to you in a disrespectful way, rather than saying, don't speak to me that way, which is directed at the person and what they should or should not do, you could say something like, I do not participate in conversations where people speak to me that way. Or you could choose to exit the conversation altogether. The next thing you need to do is be able to communicate your boundary. And this can feel super uncomfortable if you've never done it before, but the after feeling can be really rewarding. We can't expect people to be mind readers and know what bothers us. So for example, if I didn't like unexpected visitors and I never communicated that, the people in my life wouldn't know and they would keep coming and I would keep being irritated by that. However, if I set a boundary and said, listen, I don't answer the door for unexpected visitors, so please just call me before you're gonna stop by and we'll schedule a time that works for me. In my last video, I showed you what a boundary can look like. I'm gonna pull that up again. And as you can see, there are different stages and layers. Now, when someone does not respect your boundaries, it's up to you to decide, are you going to bump them out a layer and then continue through the process? Or was it so bad or so offensive to you that you're gonna move them to the outside of having no access to you? So we all make mistakes and these boundaries have dashes in them because people can move in or out. So let's say someone made a mistake and then they took accountability for that and they showed you over time that you are able to regain trust in them. You may move them back closer. It's completely within your control. There are a couple of things that people don't always talk about when they start setting boundaries and they hadn't done it before. So one, there can be some guilt. So you may do what you know is right and set that boundary. And then later on you feel guilty about it because the old you is kind of coming up and it might feel a little bit uncomfortable and what if they don't like me? The other thing is that there may be some people that were accustomed to you not having boundaries and they took advantage of that and they took advantage of you. Those people might get really shook up and even angry and start to treat you very differently because they're no longer gonna be able to manipulate you or get their way. Your circle may change, but when you set boundaries with new people, they know what to expect from the get-go. So it can feel a lot easier than setting boundaries with someone who really doesn't know where this is coming from and it's all new to them. So having some heartfelt conversations with those that you really believe have good intentions and you wanna keep in your life can be a good thing. Check out my last video on what does setting boundaries look like for a full understanding linked above. Thank you for watching Stop, Look, and Listen with Samantha. Hit subscribe and like. I make new videos every week focused on self-growth and self-awareness.